Not only is Arkham Insignia a fantastic software package for dealing with data from other systems, bitmaps, GIFs, JPEGs or vectors, it's also a fantastic vector design package in its own right. In this case we're going to run through an example to design a customer's sign and just show you a number of the tools that we've got at our disposal here. First of all, to build my basic geometry, I'm going to switch on the snap grid, set it to a value of 25 millimeters, and use that to help me to accurately draw a couple of different shapes here. Firstly, a circle, and then we're going to put a polygon, polyline, sorry, right through the middle of that. Taking that line, I'm going to go into the node editing mode, just using the shortcut keys we've got inside of Arkham Insignia, and actually add two nodes, and then smooth those nodes as well allowing me to very quickly move this data around using the mouse but accurately snapping again to the snap grid so I'm able to create a wave very quickly there that is exactly how I want it to look. Next I'm just going to move that data down a little. I'm actually going to create a copy of that line and all I'm doing is holding the control key down and moving it in order to create a copy of that data and then we'll just centre that data a little bit better. So very quickly there, using the snap grid, we've created our basic geometry. Next, I'm going to switch off the snap grid, go into the layers, and create some layers. Layers are an organisational tool that let me control whether I see or hide data at different points in time. This can be extremely powerful for design, as we're going to use it here, but it's also very powerful when I'm setting up a part for machining as well. So there we've got five different layers now, including the default layer. I'm going to take this data and move it onto a couple of these different layers. And I'm actually going to copy these two waves. And then I'm just going to undraw the layers and make sure we're working on the wave layer and paste those onto that layer. And that's made a copy on that layer. Now what I can do is use the joining tools and the closing tools in order to close that to make a single closed object. I'm going to go into the offsetting tool. I'm going to offset this by 10 millimeters outwards with sharp corners. And I want to delete the originals. And then I'm going to offset it and make a copy. And we'll just move these offsets again onto a couple of different layers. And undraw the wave that we've got there and draw the construction lines back on again. Next I want to create some text. So I have many different fonts that I can access within Arkham Insignia. In this case, we're going to use Palatino Linotype, 50 millimeters, and just type the name of the business. Now, I want this to fit between these two lines. So, one option I've got is maybe to use the text on a curve tool. If we go into the text on a curve, I can see that I've got the options of how I want that to be positioned. I can have it offset from the line if I want, I can move that around, but I can see in this case this is not really going to give me the look that I want, so I'm going to cancel out of that and use another editing tool we've got for vectors. If we go to the envelope distortion tool, this is a very powerful tool that I can use to distort vectors. I can make something look like it's got a perspective look to it, or we can really do some very interesting distortions to really bend vectors around and make them have some different shapes. In this case, though, I want to use some geometry to help me to change the shape of these. So I'm going to pick the two curves and ask the software to fit those vectors between it. And you can see, extremely quickly, I was able to generate the look that I need in this case. I'm just going to take the letters and move those onto the letters layer, delete the last piece of construction we've got there, and draw the sum. For this, we're going to take it and offset it outwards and inwards a couple of times. First, we're going to go outwards 10 mil, then inwards 40 mil. And now I'm going to actually take this data, and what I want to do is use the vector library to import a design that I use a lot. And this is a design of a flame. The vector library literally is what it says. It's a library of objects that I've got saved onto my hard drive that Arkham will automatically fill the library with, EPS or DXF or AI files, and I can just click on these to load these files in. In this case, I want the file here with the flame, and we're going to take that and paste it around this curve. And we're going to specify 24. Again, I'm going to take this vector that we've got here and just offset that inwards a little bit further. 
or the 10 mil and then I'm going to select that and the vectors around the outside of this and we're going to merge those together using the welding tool now Arcam is going to find the union of all these shapes and give me a single vector to represent that next I'm going to switch on the wave layer and I'm actually going to trim different parts of the sign now in order to get our finished look that we need with the trimming tool I can manually click and trim out areas or in this case I'm just going to explode the entire selection which will let me simply pick the pieces I want and then using our join tool I can actually join those together where they have coincident endpoints and we can move those onto a different layer there switch that off and then what I want to do here is take this and join these vectors and then I'm going to move that onto a different layer and then I'm just going to delete the pieces that I don't want and join the rest of these when I'm happy with that that will allow me now to draw back on the construction layer and what we're going to do is make some copies of this vector that we've got here and we'll go with 15 millimeter offsets and then I'm going to select this inner vector pick these outer vectors and ask the software to trim them so that I only have these lines inside that original shape does that very quickly and we can just draw all the rest of the data on here to show you the completed sign to see how very easy it was for us to create that from scratch in ArcChem Insignia draw all the data we needed, distort it, make copies and trim it as we needed to <laughs>